What's going on everyone? My name is Tom from Dreadlabs and today we're going to recreate these five shapes in Illustrator. Alright guys, um, so as you can probably see, this is uh, the first video that I've been recording from my first uh, apartment. Um, and I just moved, so yeah, the audio may be a little bit we weird for you. Um, and that's because we don't really have like acoustic panels yet. Not everything has arrived yet uh, in terms of furniture and stuff. So yeah, the audio is a little bit echoey and I'm trying to fix this ASAP. But um, yeah, for the time being, you should just bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience. Anyway, uh, so I created these uh, several shapes here and I'm just going to go and uh, guide you through the process of creating these. Um, and let's just get started. All right, so the first one is a... Um, uh, it's like a nuclear reactor icon uh, sort of thing. So let's just start with creating an ellipse. And from the center out, I'm gonna hold Alt and, uh, or Option and Shift to create a perfect circle. And by going to Object, Path, Offset Path, I'm gonna go and create a similar circle, but smaller. And this is basically up to you. This will be uh, this circle here. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger than any example. And then I'm going to create a uh, another circle that's a little bit bigger, and this is going to be the edge around here, the, the, the cutout part, I guess. All right, so now we basically have three circles. What I want to do now is I want to create a line from the center, like this. And I want to go to the Rotate tool by pressing R on my keyboard. And on the anchor point here, I'm going to click Alt, and, uh, Alt or Option and click on the anchor point. And this will bring up the rotation menu. And I'm going to go and divide this by six. So I'm going to type in 360 divided by six. And this will give us uh, 60 degrees. And click on copy. And we can uh, repeat the process um, by pressing Command or Control D. And if we go and press Command Y, you can actually see um, what we've done here. And we can rotate all of the lines here. And click on the center. And press Alt or Option again. And let's have it rotate 30 degrees so it will actually uh, be lined out correctly. And by pressing Command Y again, you'll uh, end up in the normal menu again. And let's just select everything here. And now we can just go to the Shape Builder tool which is this one, and we can start cutting out stuff uh, to create our uh, shape. And I'm doing this by holding Alt or Option and dragging over the parts of the shape that I don't need. Make sure you erase all the lines here too. And by not pressing uh, Alt or Option, you can just merge these as well. And this will leave you with the nuclear reactor. Uh, so basically, if you want to have different sizes, you make sure that the circles that you created in the first part uh, are a little bit smaller or bigger, as you can see. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's basically uh, the essence of this shape. The second one is fairly easy to do. Uh, we're just going to create a shape from the center, just like in the first uh, example. I'm going to press Shift and X to create a stroke. And while the stroke is selected, let's go to Effect, Distort and Transform. Transform, and we're gonna go and make the horizontal parts, I don't know, like 90% maybe, and do the rotation angle, put them to 10 degrees or mi minus 10 degrees, doesn't really matter. And once we add more copies, you can actually see uh, that we're creating a certain shape. And this is a really fun effect to play around with, so if we go back to Appearances panel here, which you can find under Window Appearances, and we click on the transform effects. <clears throat> so if we put the rotation to zero, you get like a cat's eye kind of shape, I guess. Uh, so the more uh, rotations you'll see, the more the uh, circles will cross each other. Um, yeah, it's a really fun uh, way to play around with uh, these abstract line shapes, I guess. Uh, so let's just move on to the next one. All right, so uh, the next one, we're gonna create a small circle in the middle. So from the center out, create an ellipse. And let's just press Shift X again to create a uh, stroke. Let's up the stroke a little bit. And now I want to create a rectangle from the center on out. 
the width of the rectangle basically depends on how um, how big you want the difference between these spaces to be and that's the spaces between this this line and this line or this line and this line so I'm gonna go with something like this and I'm gonna go and press E on my keyboard which brings up the transformation tool or the free trans transform tool sorry and while this icon is active click on this while holding alt or option and let's just do something like this select the circle and uh, select the ellipse and the rectangle and punch out the rectangle here and now the connection points uh, you need to select these and go to this scissor here and now we're going to just clean it up so we're going to uh, delete these lines here and now we have like a cut up uh, ellipse so with these selected let's just ungroup them for a second in the properties panel let's just click on the stroke here and make sure that the cap is rounded and then the profile should be this. And as you can see, uh, you kind of get this uh, like swirly shape around the circle. So let's just go and make it a little bit more narrow and size this inner circle down. And the next thing you want to do is select these, group them, click on the R on your keyboard to bring in the rotation tool and basically hold Alt or Option again on the center of the circle and let's just type in 60 degrees and copy it and here you have your like atom like icon so for the next shape we need a script which is a free script for illustrator and you can find on this website here and i'll put a link up in the description so you can download it all right so in your applications folder if you go to illustrator presets and then click the language that you're on uh, you'll see all sorts of presets and if you go to scripts you can paste in uh, the script that you've downloaded from the website here and then it should pop up in Illustrator. All right, so I made a circle uh, that's perfectly in the middle with uh, 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Let's just move this up. And then uh, while holding shift, pressure arrow up, which will bring it up 10 pixels more. And let's duplicate these again like this. So we have like a grid of four uh, circles. Let's group it and center it and ungroup it again. So if you install the script correctly, if you go to file, scripts, then it should be here. And I'm just going to select this circle and this circle. Go to File, Scripts, Metaball Arc. And if we click on Preview, you can see what we're actually going to do. And click on OK. And here we have the Metaball. And this is how you use the uh, Metaball script. So the last one, uh, we're going to need the Polygrid tool, which is under the Line Segment tool. And from the center on out, let's just draw a uh, Polygrid. And we'll hold Alt or Option and Shift. Uh, without letting go, we can click on the arrows to decide how many uh, segments we want. And I think this should be fine for me. And if we uh, give it a stroke, you'll actually see what we just drew. And now we basically want to color these in like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press K on my keyboard, which will bring up the Live Paint tool. And with the shape selected uh, and the Live Paint tool uh, selected, uh, I click on this and you'll see click to make a live paint group and now we can basically start coloring these in. Alright, um, so now we're going to go to object, live paint and expand this. Alright, so now with your uh, polar grid expanded uh, you should uh, be left with two groups and one of these is a stroke group and you can just remove this. All right now, so with your expanded um, polar grid selected, let's go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and go to Twist. And if we pick like a 40 degree angle and click OK. And if we go to Object and Expand Appearance, you'll see that it's twisted this way. And if you would have, if you would like to have more weird distorted uh, rotations, for example, in the other way too, uh, let's just select this and if we grab the twirl tool here all right so i played around a little bit with the settings and if we lower the intensity to 20 percent and have the twirl weight at 10 degrees and put off simplify and we click okay we can actually have this rotate the other way around so we can have multiple degrees and multiple parts of the rotation here uh, so now all we need is the edge in here so let's go to the anchor in the center and draw an ellipse like this and make it a stroke 
and up the stroke to however you like. And this will leave you with a shape certain along the lines of this. All right, guys, so this was the tutorial. I hope the sound quality wasn't too bad for what you were uh, used to here at Dread Labs. I really plan on fixing this in the future. And if you have any suggestions for uh, new tutorials, please let me know in the comments. So if you would like the project file for this tutorial or any of my other tutorials, you can go to Patreon. Uh, so thank you to all my patrons for supporting me, uh, making me be able to make more videos for you guys. Um, so that means more, tutor more tutorials, more social content, more products in the webshop. Besides, by becoming a patron, you not, you not only get uh, access to all the project files, but you also get 15% discount uh, in the Dread, Dread Labs web store, as well as a unique Discord role. So the link for that will be in the description as well. And if you have any questions, feel free to send a comment or join us on Discord. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.